So, back on the course again. Beautiful winter's day here at Hollywood Golf Club. In today's clubs, I've had a pretty long while, I'll be honest. Is that because they aren't a big deal? <laughs> Absolutely not. I'll give you a quick hint before we break out into B-roll. These irons won't finish last. <laughs> I didn't realise it was that small. It is tiny, isn't it? It'll do, I think, for this, this hole now. It should. Guys, it's time to welcome to the channel, Tacoma Golf. Hey guys. So I've got the four to pitching wedge. It's a split set between the 301 CB and the 301 MB. I've got the eight iron here, which just leaks in to the first MB iron. Now I just need a golf swing, really. It's a lovely shape. Oh, that is a golf swing. Oh, that is flagging it in shit. So you can probably tell by the look of the set, this is not the first time I've hit them. Oh no. They've been hovering around my golf bag like flies around shit. The reason is, they are that good. Have they noticed yet? Oh, see my ball? <laughs> yeah, I did that. Grippy mat, straight down the middle. So yeah, this isn't the first time I've actually hit these irons because I was invited to Scotland with the Tacomo guys, Chris Dennis, James Robinson, and golf sidekick content to come. <laughs> I hope that's not on camera. I still haven't got winter shoes on, and I nearly died then. They nearly died. <laughs> So who are Tacoma Golf? Great question. They are a DTC company based out in Finland. Remember the hint of the finish? Won't finish last? Come on, just trying a new transition, don't mind. So you're probably wondering why DTC, why is that such a big deal? We're here direct consumer all the time now. Well, as we've mentioned before, companies like Tacoma Golf, it cuts out the middleman, so no retailer can add profit margin. It goes straight from the company, Tacoma in this case, towards the consumer. And in a nutshell, that allows us to have affordable pricing with Tacoma's premium products. Yeah, these guys have won many awards and all it takes is hitting one to realize why. Lovely. So for all the tech buffs out there, you love it, don't you? You love a bit of tech. So there's no hiding the fact every time you hit one of these, you're reminded of how good they feel, which is surprising for the price, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but they are one piece forged design with the S20C steel. And you can tell straight away with lofts, you're gonna get traditional lofts with these. The seven iron, for example, is 34 degrees. I'll put the rest down below. But yeah, traditional from top to bottom, progressive lofts throughout the set, same with CB to MB. And just a message between us two, uh, don't be surprised if you see these in the bag next year. They took all the boxes in terms of price, performance, unreal, sound, feel, tick, tick, and they're very pretty. We've even got the wedges to test too. Dare I say, in the past, I felt DTC was like the equivalent of a replica football shirt. It wasn't, you could get away with it, but it wasn't the real thing. Now I feel the last couple of years, things are very, very different. And I think once you've purchased and put your trust in one of those companies, it feels a bit more, the relationship feels a bit more personal, if that makes sense. One thing I didn't mention about these aesthetically, is the fact that they look, unplayable in a, in a very attractive way. It's very blade-like, very MB, very CB, but I was very, very surprised with how playable they actually are. And they also keep the distances as well. That looked good on the shot tracer. But their range, I'm pretty sure, started with irons, then we've got wedges, and now we're, we're heading into the woods. We've got the driver, and then the fairy woods have been released, which we've also got, so expect to see that on the channel very soon. 
But another thing I like about this is simple terminology for the, for the iron. So 101, distance and forgiveness. 201, feel and workability. And then the 301, which we've got here, the split set, is forged player's iron. One thing they've absolutely nailed with this set is the shaping from the two split sets across, progressive, spot on. This pitching wedge is wonderful. Oh, lovely. Here we are, a putt for birdie. I might as well be in another state, let's be honest. But yeah, very receptive, stop and drop. I mean, the hammer driver would have stopped and dropped in these wetter conditions, let's be honest. So let's talk about the all-important pricing. You can go full blade, full cavity, or the split set like we've got here, which is four to pitch, four to seven iron is a cavity, and then eight iron to pitching wedge is the muscle back. And that gives us that scoring potential, controlling the shorter stuff, then we get to the longer stuff, we've got that more cavity, a bit more perimeter weighting, more forgiveness, easier to launch. Price, £545. I'll put the other prices down below, but that is ridiculous. Which is why it's hard to not support a brand doing things like this. So I went in for a second, for like a millisecond, all right? Of course, I'm going to say just go and try them, but I do appreciate that's harder to do with direct to consumer clubs. But these are now getting around in fitters' carts to so go and get fitted with them. Um, it's no longer really a blind sort of sale, which is probably another off putting thing with a direct to consumer club, usually. One for the gram. Oh, that's Bob on, you know. That's Bob on. But yeah, Tacoma Golf is one of the big reasons why we've got Al's Emporium. These boutique, fancy, gaining in popularity companies. And this is exactly why this playlist exists. So the mats are out currently, so I've just dropped into the rough down the side to avoid the use of a mat. Pitching wedge in. Just, uh, I think I was expecting to be a bit firmer than that. I don't know why, it's, it's wet, <laughs> but it was all over it. But that was just a quick look. I wanted to get this out before the end of the year because I've had them for ages. I've been waiting for the, the day to come and you know what that's like, it just, when, when's that? <laughs> when is the day to come? So I don't know if you can see behind me, but the whole morn has just disappeared. So I think we're gonna get some rain. So I'm gonna jump ship. Pleasure. I had to get out with these before the end of the year. Like I say, I've had them for months. Um, Sorry if it seems a little bit quick, but I just wanted to get them done and show you guys just how good these things actually are. Full review I'll do in the net with the numbers. I'm looking forward to showing you those. And for goodness sake, please hit the subscribe button, but more importantly, check out the other Owls Emporium. We've got all sorts of fancy clubs in there as well. Cheers guys, bye bye.